I have open JS18, which is a script, which is a combination of a couple of the other scripts that we've looked at so far. Here we are using, or we're going to be using, radio buttons, but we're not going to be processing the radio buttons with a for loop. Instead, we're going to process them with an if statement. So this is what we're going to end up with this script. We're going to have a simple page, which is going to let the user click on either addition or subtraction. And then user gets to pick uh, two numbers, 24 here in this case, and 35. And then adding these numbers gives us 59. Or they can click on subtraction and take a number. I'll start with 56 and a second number. I'm going to use 32. And then subtracting these numbers gives us 24. So it all depends on what the user clicks on and, and what numbers they enter. And that will give them the proper result. OK, to accomplish this, it's very much similar to the scripts that we've worked with so far. We set up our radio buttons in the HTML. We have one called addition, one called subtraction. And then we create a regular button, which is called let me practice. And on click, when the user clicks it, we just go ahead and execute the practice math function. So now we're just going to concentrate on the function called practice math. Practice math begins by assigning two variables to two prompt responses from the user. And then, this is the interesting part of the script, we check to see whether the first element of the first form of the document is checked, which would be addition in this case. If that's the case, then we add those two numbers together using parse int, which we found out we needed to use before. Turn that into variable C. And then alert adding these numbers gives us C. Now, if the first element is not checked, in which case subtraction would be checked, then we execute this code down here. We use uh, parse int or parse float here, depending on what we want here. And then uh, it says alert subtracting these numbers gives us and then uh, a real number here. So the way that the script is currently written, we could enter in integer numbers for the addition, or any number that we type in would be converted to an integer. But in the subtraction, we have it set up currently because we're using parse float to process our real numbers if that's what we wish. If addition is checked, we add the numbers together. If we click on subtraction, then we subtract the numbers and we give us, uh, we return a result here in the alert and dialog box. OK, so study this script. You may want to modify it somewhat for your own purposes. And um, again, uh, this is what the script does in real life. When you click addition, you can type in uh, a, an integer number. But if I type in a real number instead, or a series of real numbers, I still get an integer result. But in subtraction, if I begin with a real number and continue with a real number, I can get, in this case, a real or a floating point result. That's the way that the script is currently written. If you only wanted to deal with integer values, then you would change the two parse floats uh, later on in the script to parse in.